hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nash, and you're watching A Splash of Nash, and today we are doing this beautiful pink hair, pink eyes, pink lip look. I did a cut crease for you guys today. First time doing it, so I hope it turned out okay for you guys. If you want to see how to get this cool pink look, then make sure you just keep on watching. Alright, so to start with today, I am going to start on my brows. I want to get those out of the way and done, and then I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow and then my face. So as usual, into my Brow Gal Convertible Brow 02, and I'm just going to go up in my brows with this. I'm just going to carve them out with my tart Shape Tape. And then I'm just going to bring the Shape Tape onto my eyes lids as well to prime those. And I'm just going to go ahead and just slightly blend out the rest of that right now. Alright, so we're looking a little crazy right now. I'm going to jump into my Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bonds palette. And I'm just going to hop into Divinity just right here. And I'm just going to set my whole lid with that. So since we're going for a pink eye look today, I don't have many pink matte eyeshadows. So what I'm actually going to do is hop into this blush and bronzer mini palette. This is by Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to take this pink shade up in this corner here and I'm just going to run that along the crease. And I'm not going to bring it into my V because we are doing a cut crease today. So I'm actually not going to bring it down like I usually would. I'm just going to flick it out like so. And I just use my Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush for that pink color there. And I am going to hop around. I'm going to hop around between a few different palettes today. So if you see a few different ones, that is why. Next, I'm going to take this brush here and I'm going to go into the shade in my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. And I'm just going to grab this gossip shade right in the middle here. And I am just going to work that more in the crease. It's a little bit lower than that last shade. Pink has always been my favorite color since I've been a tiny little kid. I've always loved pink. I went through a phase, I think it was like in high school, where like everything I wore was pink, like everything I did was pink, everything I bought was pink. It was crazy. <laughs> now I don't wear it too much, but I started to get a little bit more into it since I colored my hair pink. I like really fell in love. Next, I'm going to go back into the BMX 430 brush, and um, with no extra product, I'm just going to go and blend those two shades a little bit more together. And then adding a little bit more of Gossip where I need it. Next, I'm going to go back into the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon palette and go in with this bottom pink shade here. This is called, called Totally Fetch. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that. Again, just building up the crease more and more. And this is just a Lexi 237 brush. And I'm just building up that color just little by little, like one little dab and then blending. I'm not going in with too much product at once. And then again into my 430 brush and just making sure that they're all blended together. And next for the darkest shade, I'm going to go in, this is a BH Cosmetics 132 brush. As you can see, it's just a little pencil brush. And I am going to go back into that blush and bronzer mini palette and I am going to grab the darker blush shade just right here and I'm really going to define the crease with that color. And with this color I'm really just going to draw out where I'm going planning on cutting the crease and then as I'm placing that product just in back into the same brush and just blending out the harsh lines. Alright, so once you have the colors that you want all placed down, I wish I had a little bit of a darker pink. I'm going to try and go in with a little bit of Alchemy, I believe it's how you pronounce it, just up in this corner here. And I'm just going to try and use that with the same little pencil brush we were using before, just to try and define that crease even more. See if that'll make it a little bit darker for us. And on the out, outer edge, I'm just almost creating a little wing with that. 
And as you can see, I'm just touching ever so slightly just to deepen it up. So now that we have kind of what we want here, I might go ahead and deepen it up a little bit after. I'm gonna go back in with my chart tarp and chart tarp 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 my tart shape tape and I am going to cut the crease. I don't want to use this brush on my thing. I'm going with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is an elf professional concealer brush. And we'll really clean that line up after we're done. Okay, so once you have the line that you want, I recommend going in pretty much immediately and just setting it down, just because you don't want that to start creasing. And we will fix up that line, like I said, in a minute. And the hardest part is gonna be matching up both eyes to be identical. <laughs> Always the hardest part, brows, eyes, Especially with my left eye too, because it has, it's like so, I don't know, like my lid is like loose, like flimsy. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in and again, just set it so it doesn't crease. This is just a BH Cosmetics 130 brush that I'm using. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> so they are somewhat similar. It's just gonna kind of be like a back and forth until you have them as you want them. So I'm gonna go back into the BH Cosmetics 132 brush, back into Alchemy, 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 and start placing that to match the two together. And this defines that line a little bit more. Let's apply some winged liner. So I'm gonna go in with my EM Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner. This is a brush tip. And I'm just gonna follow and just go a little bit under where that crease, the cut crease is. So it doesn't like sandwich. We want it to be like a like a concealer in the middle of the sandwich. Like where the burger is, that's where you want to see the skin. And then <laughs> just watch. So I just extended that wing out a little bit more. It's a very long wing. That's what the look we are going for today. You just want to extend it out um, as far as your cut crease goes out, just to match those two together. I'm gonna go in and try and match that other eye that I just did. This is the hard part, matching. I've been working on this wing for like 10 minutes now. We have them as good as they're gonna get, I think. So this is it. What I'm going to do is take an extremely small little brush. I'm just using this, which is a scone smudger brush. I'm gonna go into Divinity again in the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette and just sandwich that in between the pink and the white. See, here's where my sandwich reference comes in. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's apply some lashes. And I'm gonna apply these off camera so I can do them properly. I'll be right back. Lashes are on, they are still drying a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in while they're drying with my base stuff. So, to start with, I'm gonna go into the professional and I'm just gonna apply that to the middle area of my face, which is right here, and then on my chin and in the middle of my brows. And then I'm gonna go into my Estee Double Wear as well as my Maybelline Fit Me. Just gonna mix these two together to create my current match in shade, just on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go in with my crown brush here. And blend that out. And I have this huge looking guy right there. Oh, he's been pissing me off. And then I'm just gonna pounce where it is looking a little cakey, where it gets cakey. So like up between my brows, it always gets a, oh, excuse me. Always gets a little cakey up there. And then on my chin. All right, so going in with my Tarte Shape Tape. And then with my Beauty Sponge, and tap that out. Be careful not to mess up your line. But we just spent 45 minutes making. Next, as usual, I'm just going to hit up my Laura Mercier powder just to set my under eyes as well as the rest of my face. I need to get a new container for my face brush. Just like, look, it's so full that I can't find <laughs> any of my proper damn face brushes. 
So the lash glue is pretty much dry. So what I'm going to do is take a tiny little brush just like so and I'm just going to go in with a black shadow and I'm just going to set the glue with that just to make sure that you can't see any shiny bits of glue up in my, up in my eye. It doesn't matter what black shadow you use for this, anything will really do. This is just to set everything down. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just do, take the colors I used on my top lid and swoosh them onto my bottom lid as well. So starting with my blush and bronzer mini palette, I'm going to go in with this shade and just sweep that guy just under my lash line. Now I'm just using Totally Fetched, Totally Fetched from the Too Faced Chocolate Bond Bond palette. And I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette for the last shade and just grab Alchemy, Alchemy, Elk. Chemi and drag that as close up as I can to the lash line. And lastly for the waterline, I'm just going to go in with my It Cosmetics No Tuck Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in black. Let's just little sample size. I'm just going to line my waterline with this. And lastly on this scone smudger brush, I'm going to take a little bit of Platonic up in this palette here and just smudge out that black liner a bit so it doesn't look so harsh. So I'm pretty sure I'm done with the shadow, so I'm just going to quickly add some mascara to finish up the eyes. And because the lashes that I put on today are a little bit less dramatic than I would normally like, I'm going to actually bring the mascara up to the lashes as well. Okay, I forgot one last thing. With the eyes, I want to go in with the inner corner highlight. For the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with Cotton Candy right here. Put that right in the inner corner to brighten it up a little bit. So let's finish off the face. For my contour, I'm just gonna go in with my Shade and Light Kat Von D palette. And using my BH Cosmetics 126 brush, I'm gonna go in with Sombre, I believe it's called, and contour. Next to bronze at the face, I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunshine. And with my BMX 130 pointed blush brush, and I'm going to use this to bronze my face. And I'm just going to bring the bronzer just down my neck a little bit as well. For blush, I think it's fitting that I go in with my blush and bronzer mini palette. And I'm just going to kind of mix these two shades here. And I'm going to use my Luxie 514 blush brush. For highlight today, I'm going to go into the Balm. This is in the shade Kawakara Bishia. And I'm just going to highlight my face with that today. For lips, I brought up a few different options here depending on how the eyes turned out. And I think I'm going to go in with this one. So I'm going to go in. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Lock Diary. And I'm just gonna go in and put this on my lips. And to set the face, Urban Decay All Nighter as usual. And I am going to be right back. I'm just gonna quickly jump and do something with my hair, which I'm actually gonna film as well for you guys. So I will have the link up here if you, up this way if you wanna see that. And I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you want to see from me next. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.